In this video, we want to dive into our trade management graph in Edgewonk. Inefficient trade management decisions are often at the core of struggling traders. And a lot of traders have problems managing their trades effectively, which means many traders leave their profitable trades too early, leaving a lot of money on the table, or they cut their losses too late and let small losses turn into large losses. You'll find the trade management graph under chart lab and then under trade management. We have three line graphs here, but we want to focus on the actual and the potential performance. The line graphs are based on the R multiple, so your trades need to have a stop loss and a take profit in order for the trade management graph to work. The blue line shows your actual realized performance in terms of R multiple, and the green line shows the potential performance also in terms of R multiple. The green line is based on a passive management approach. This means that you enter your trade, you set your stop loss, you set your target, and then you let the price play out. You do not interfere with your trade actively, but you just let the price play out and see whether your take profit or stop loss has been hit first. Ideally, you'll see that your actual performance in blue is above your potential performance. This means that you made good trading decisions and you couldn't have made more money. When you see that your potential performance is above your actual performance, it means that potentially you could have made more money and in some way you have mismanaged your trades. Again, this means cutting winners too soon or letting losses run too long. Let me show you how this is calculated. For that, we go to the journal and we want to dive into this trade. It has a star and what we can see first is that we have a stop loss and a take profit assigned. The entry was at 2200, the stop loss at 2100, the take profit at 2400 and the exit at 2300, which means that the exit was not taken at the take profit and the trader manually closed the trade before the take profit was hit. To activate the trade management graph, we go to our advanced trade data and this field needs to be ticked. It stands for OTP hit and this refers to original take profit hit. When we tick that with no, it means that the original take profit for that trade was not hit and it means that the price would have reached the stop loss before the take profit, independent of the exit. If we would have ticked this with yes, it would mean that the take profit would have been hit before the initial stop loss. So keep in mind we have OTP no, which means that the price would not have hit the original take profit. And because the trader exited the trade manually, he realized a profit. If he would not have managed the trade and if he would not have exited the trade, the price would have hit the stop loss and he would have realized the loss. So this shows that he made a good decision. Let's go back to the trade management graph and we only want to look at that trade. We open the filters and we look at the start trade because we have given it a star. Here we now see that the actual performance is above the potential performance. Why is that so? Because he realized a profit, but if he would not have interfered with the trade and if he would not manage the trade, he would have lost money. This means that he made a good trading decision. Let's bring this trade up. We just click on the data point and let's go to advanced trade data and hit OTP yes. Just a quick recap. This means that the price would have reached the original take profit before the original stop loss, but the trader exit the trade before the take profit. So if he would not have interfered with the trade, he could have realized a larger gain. Let's save that. And now we can see it has flipped around. Potentially he could have made more but he managed the trade actively and he cut the winner short. And this is what it means when the potential performance is above the actual performance. We can go back to our filters, we clear it, and let's take a look at the different setup. For example, let's look at the MA bounce setup. What do we see here? It's a mixed picture. There are some sections where the potential performance is above the actual performance. So here in this part, the trader made bad trade management decisions that cost him money. But here he turned it around. After that trade, he made better trading decisions and his actual performance is above the potential performance. The trade management graph is such an important graph and feature in Edgewonk. A lot of traders are struggling with making good trading decisions. When they're in the trade, they often forget about their trading plans and they react impulsively and trade emotionally. But let the trade management graph show you what is the optimal trading approach for you and whether your trade management decisions are making or costing you money. Then you can adjust your trading approach, you can trade with confidence, you can trust your system and overall make better trading decisions.